couple of short passes, easy throws early. Second and long. Trying to dial across the field, and it's caught, and this is Aaron Young, four yards against Notre Dame. This one is 43. It hangs up there, and it's no good. Touchdown passes have come in ACC play, so since conference play started, struggle. Here is DeVito, and this is Tristan Jackson breaking free. Jackson inside the 20 to the 18. Right, so if Tommy DeVito gets in the ball, they can do something with it. And Mo Neal on the play fake, and there is Jack Duke. It's been a tough distance for the Blue Devils. Inside route, and Young difference is what we're talking about. <laughs> Second and five after Bo Neal, and here goes Neal again. North Carolinian returning. Isn't that hard? After the penalty, look at Bo Neal dance through the secondary. Neal to the perimeter, and hits. Second and goal. DeVito will keep it and score. Back since Bilal Powell in 2010 to run for 1,000 yards in a season. Catch and a big one by Jake Bobo who was 50-50 whether or not he would play coming to third and long for the Blue Devils. Harris to Gray, the tight end. And I think he got just enough for the first down. I don't know. Kind of a different challenge. Look at this thing. Into the wind, Roddy. Back to the 40 goes Bracey for the one on the ground for Quentin Harris's club. Quick throw the perimeter and a big hit. Syracuse has got a ton of guys up front. Quick hit, Deion Jackson. He broke the plane of the feed, who missed earlier from 49. This is 31. Remember, he's missed two in a row if you go back to last Saturday night. This one is good. He's emerging as a second-half favorite in the Coastal Division. And laying the wood in Atlanta this afternoon. Here is Harris on the reverse. And it would be an absolutely incredible coaching job by Scott, Scott Sackerfield this year, getting them the ball out of the building. Off the timeout, 51 yards from Reed is away, and it is perfect. Why of the football, they play with a lot of passion, and the way they've settled down after those first couple of drives has been impressive. Hudzik waits on Hoprichter's punt. And Miles Hudzik. Again, you get him a couple of hits, and it starts to get the blood flowing a little bit. Quick throw inside, deflected, and intercepted. Andre Sisko, first pick of the year, is a house call. Just hasn't been there today. Harris on third down. Tried to get it to Bobo, and that got picked. The ticket bag is unbelievable. DeVito on third down, and a swing pass, and here is Benson for his. Duke has been seven and a half quarters with only one touchdown. And the ball pop loose. Is it considered live? And coming out of there with it is hey, in the past year, me and Wes have both weighed over 295 pounds. <laughs> so we both know what that looks like. <laughs> there is Mo Neal. Per yeah. play yep. the last time they were out. But a change in mentality, change in defensive coordinators got them playing hard. Throw to the far side for Aaron. Getting his master's in management studies. And uh, you're absolutely right, right, Wes. I mean, th this is. Quentin Harris is, is all about what's good in college football. Jones, he and Daniel Jones were two of the leaders on this team, so that's not going to leave no matter what's going on in versus good How long does it take to get back in the flow of that? You know, he's probably excited. I remember I, I, I was drafted to play center, ended up at guard. Six overall with Louisville and Wake, and, uh, Wake Forest left to go on their calendar. Well, that... In week 12 of ACC football. Started on Thursday night with Carolina and Pittsburgh going to overtime. And here's Jordan fighting for the end zone. And he scores. So Jawar Jordan gets his first touchdown of the year for the yard. Babers and Syracuse pick up their first ACC win. Snap a four-game skid. And it was impressive on both sides of the ball. Wasn't it, Roddy? It was a complete performance.